Hi guys, my name is Amy and in this video I want to show you how to load a custom list from Salesforce. Usually the lists we work with originate from Salesforce picklist. However, you can now also load a list from a simple text field that contains a string of items. Let's see how you do this. First step, we'll need to create some data for testing in Salesforce. Well, let's go to my Salesforce account. Here it is. I've taken the liberty to create a record, a new record called test in my Salesforce account object. And I've entered the list of items in a text field, actually in the description. Okay. Um, I've used the description, but you can use any text field you like, text box, a text area, a formula field, etc. Just make sure that the items are separated by semicolons. Okay, another thing. If you look for this account in Salesforce, you'll find that at the end of its URL is the account ID. Okay, so you'll just copy it because we'll need to use it later in the example. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the form builder for, the, for our second uh, step. We'll need to create the form. Just drag the elements. In our case, just a drop down. Okay, so I'm just going to go to multiple input and drag a drop down. Okay, uh, because we want to populate it completely from Salesforce, we'll need to uh, delete all of the default items and uncheck the add other checkbox. So here I'm removing them one by one and turning off the add other checkbox. Okay, now it's time for our third step, setting up the Salesforce Get Integration. Okay, so under Form, Salesforce Integration, Get, we're going to uh, press on the Map Fields button, and we're going to set the integration like this. Add Object, I'm going to select the account. Now I'm going to turn on the execute on form load checkbox, which will make the, the data ex um, load once the form is loaded. I'm going to set a condition. Account ID equals, and this is where the account ID you copied before from Salesforce URL uh, comes in other and we're going to paste it in here okay so what this means is that we're going to take the list from this account I'm gonna press apply now all that's left is mapping the fields I'm gonna search for the drop-down and I'm going to map it to account description Okay, remember in Salesforce, this is where we put the string of uh, items. Okay, I'm going to press apply. I'm going to press apply again and again and save my form. Uh, we've reached our fourth step. All that's left to do really is go to the drop down settings. Yeah element tab. Uh, I'm going to advance and I'm going to turn on the load custom list checkbox. Because what this checkbox really does is take the semicolon separated items and turns them into items in a drop down. Okay, we're finished. Told you. We're going to save the form. Easy, huh? And we're going to publish it and have a look at the finished form. This is our result. Here's our drop down, and here are the items. Hope this was helpful. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye.